This next image, any ideas what this might be? Ooh. So this started as a spider bite. The bite quickly continued to inflame and swell. The patient who happens to work here at our show did ultimately go to the doctor. She was diagnosed with a secondary cellulitis, potentially serious bacterial skin infection. And um, this is actually one of our producers and Dr. Batra, you got involved in the case. I did, so this is like a really good example of, again, when you have a little cut or an opening in the skin, your skin's function as an organ is to keep the outside world out. So now you have a doorway for all these nasty bacteria, viruses, fungus that can get in. So the bite was the portal of entry and then she, by very bad luck, acquired a secondary staph infection. Mm. So she was sort of texting me in real time and first you see kind of the redness and the inflammation that's a typical bite, but the signs of a true cellulitis are when you start to have expanding redness, warmth, increasing pain as days go on. It feels hot and angry. You might feel sick. One thing that the producer did that was amazing and really smart, you can see she used the red Sharpie and she was actually tracking the progression. So when she sent me that first text and then you could see the next day that it was actually expanding outside the pen, then that was obviously not a good thing. Speaking of her as though she's not here, she actually is here backstage. Chelsea, hi. Hey. <laughs> so you are two plus weeks out from this and you still have bruising in that area. How are you feeling? I feel much better. I don't feel it anymore. Um, when it first happened though, you could, like what you were saying, the redness and the pain, and I think it happened really fast too, because I'm like at my desk and then I look down, I'm like, oh my God, what is happening down there? So um, I think it was, like happened really fast, like within 24 hours, it really expanded and um, that's when I was texting Dr. Batra. Well, you're a pro. You've been watching the doctors for years, so you knew what to look for, that, that warmth, so redness. So remember, the treatment for this, if it is becoming very painful, is antibiotics. So mm -hmm. Chelsea benefited both from injections of antibiotics as well as pills. Remember, there are 200,000 cases of this type of cellulitis diagnosed each year, and Chelsea had it in exactly where we see it most, which is usually the lower leg, mm -hmm. because the circulation there is a little bit slower. People who have stasis or swelling of their legs, much more at risk for for this. And, so. and if I may add, it seems to me like she had two things going on yes. here because yeah. it's very abnormal to have a spider bite and then that quickly, that severe uh, swelling that then became in medicine we call it ecumotic. So that's one of the other things is some of these spider bites, they can yeah. become really scary wow. really quickly. This is going to make me think twice about my whole policy of letting spiders live in my house thing. What? I mean, I see are them you, and I'm are you like the spider lady like you're I like I just I don't mind them. I'm not afraid of them and I think maybe at one point I was and so I started to develop this I'm going to let them live and see how it goes, but now I yeah. think If you see a brown recluse <laughs> or a black widow spider hanging out in your bedroom, <laughs> You got to get that taken yeah, care that, of. That's not something to coexist with. Yeah, you have to get okay. that taken care of. Spiders are, are for the most part benign. And, right. and the other irony of this whole story, and, and not in Chelsea's case, but a lot of times you'll get a bite and you'll assume it's a spider bite. Mm. But if you don't see the spider, a lot of times it could be any other critter uh, potentially yeah. that caused yeah. it.